Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I got my first ever Pat McGrath lipstick in the mail. So I'm going to open this and try it out. But before I get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I ordered this Pat McGrath lipstick on Boxing Day and I believe it was $17 but the invoice is right here so I will check. So it says here that the lipstick was $17 and shipping and handling was $6.60. So in total, it came to $23.60 Canadian. I just looked it up and Pat McGrath lipsticks are usually $50 um, on Sephora. So that is quite a discount. So I'm very interested to see if it's a full size lipstick. I'm actually quite confused. Um, but yeah, that's quite a discount. $17 from $50, like even with the taxes included, that's still like 50% off, so. This is another invoice and it just says that it has the matte trans lipstick in it. And I'm actually kind of annoyed that they gave me such a large box for one lipstick. The top says Pat McGrath Labs. Yeah, literally it's one lipstick in this giant box. And because it's such a large box, it didn't fit in my mailbox and I had to go to the post office to pick this up. So I'm kind of annoyed at that. Like, what? why the hell do you need such a large box for this? I love how fancy the Pat McGrath packaging is. It really makes it like a whole experience when you get one of their lipsticks. And it's quite heavy, so I do think it's a full-size lipstick for $17. So that makes me feel like the markup on this is so stupid. Like. Why would you ever pay $50 for this if you know that they can go on sale for $17? So this is how the lipstick comes. There's like a little flap and it opens up and you can get the lipstick. And this slip of paper that fell out says the name of the lipstick, which is Matte Trance Fembot. I'm not gonna lie, I bought this lipstick because of the name. I thought Fembot was such a cool name for a lipstick. Um, and it definitely reminds me of Bender's girlfriend Evangeline from Futurama or like Blade Runner or something like that. So I just, as a nerd, I thought it was a really cool name. So that is why I got this lipstick. Um, but I also wanted to try Pat McGrath. Here is what the tube looks like. It's very heavy. And I know a lot of people are crazy about these kind of like lips on the front but I'm actually not like totally crazy about it. I think it does look a little tiny bit tacky, um, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> Oof, it's a strong magnet. And here is the color. I'd say this is a cool toned pink. My friend on Instagram described it as a mauve but I really don't think it is a mauve. At least not in this lighting. In this lighting, it's definitely coming across as like a mid-tone cool pink. So it's pretty true to color between the lipstick and the lipstick bullet. Um, it's not like the creamiest lipstick I've ever used. I just went into the bathroom to look in the mirror to look at this a bit closer. And my lips are dry just in the middle. This is winter in Canada, like that's to be expected. And actually it's better than it was in previous years, like my dryness. But I have to say this lipstick does look very dry. And um, on those little dry patches in the middle, like it has kind of like stuck awkwardly to them. And it's like emphasizing the dryness on my lips. Can you see? how dry um, this lipstick is looking. So this is the lipstick in outdoor lighting. As you can see outdoors, it's more of a cool toned pink than a nude. Although in my indoor lighting, which is I guess a little bit more yellow, um, it looks more like a nude. Either way, it's not really a mauve. I was worried about it being a mauve because mauves don't really look good on me, like the kind of like purple gray toned um, colors. I, they usually make me look old and tired, so I was really worried when my friend said that this color looked like a mauve, um, but it's not. It's more like a medium uh, cool-toned pink. 
I also want to mention that I wore a liquid lipstick all day yesterday, which is one of the reasons why my lips are so dry. And if this gets worse than it is right now, I'm probably going to take it off, put a lip balm on, on and then put it on top um, because it's already feeling like almost uncomfortable. Like it is very dry and it is a matte lipstick. I'm not going to say like, like, oh, like it should be really hydrating. But uh, if your lips are already dry, this is not the lipstick for you. Like, pick a different one. Hey, so I am in the car because my friend and I are going for a bit of a winter hike. And the lipstick was feeling so dry and uncomfortable that I just took it off. I like scrubbed my lips uh, with like a washcloth and then I put on some lip balm and I put the lipstick on top and oh my god, what a difference. It feels so much better. So I am loving this lipstick now. I think the color is very flattering in natural lighting and it feels so much better. So now I know that I can't wear this without a lip balm underneath. And unfortunately that is like a little bit annoying because then I always have to have a lip balm with me when I bring this uh, like traveling or anything like that. Uh, so I do usually prefer more moisturizing lipsticks, but I mean it is called matte trance so I shouldn't have really expected any different. But if you have dry lips, um, I think you should really consider whether you want this lipstick because know that you're going to have to scrub your lips and put on lip balm every time you use it. So yeah, but I am glad I own it. I will definitely wear it um, completely until it's empty. And a new lipstick is such a big investment for me that I think I have stronger opinions on lipsticks because I only allow myself to buy maybe one a year or less. Um, whereas someone who has like a hundred lipsticks and this is their hundred and first first lipstick, they probably don't have as strong an opinion on lipsticks as I do. So just know that and know that I have found a way to love this. Um, and the second impression is much better than the first. So I'm still waiting for my friend to show up for our hike. So I'm just here in the car looking at my lipstick and really thinking about it. And while I do like how this looks, I really don't think that I would pay $17 for another one. And let alone $50, which is the, the regular price. So I think overall, this is just not my favorite lipstick formula. Uh, I much prefer, like I do have other high-end lipsticks. I had one from Guerlain, I had, I have one from Chanel currently, I had a Burberry lipstick, and I liked all three of those better than this one. Would I do this again? No, but since I own this, I will enjoy it, and I am definitely liking the way it looks on me, and the way that it feels with a lip balm underneath. I guess those are my final thoughts. Let me know, do you have these lipsticks? Do you love them? Is there a way that you wear them so that they're not dry? Um, let me know. I'm curious to know your thoughts. And thank you again for watching. I'll always be real with you and tell you my real opinions, whether people like it or not. Um, so thanks for watching and please subscribe.